Hi, I'm Marcel. Welcome back to The Pulse. Today, I'm going to talk about hydrolyzed collagen peptides. This is a new product for new for do not age.org. They make the supplements that I take, and their contribution to collagen is bringing the cost down. As a matter of fact, it costs, they, they say, a little over 50 cents a day. If you buy a six month supply, it's around 60 something cents a day. If you buy a one month supply to start off with, it does take several months to reap benefits from collagen. And there's a lot of science out there. There's a lot of evidence showing benefits of collagen in regards to skin care, uh, muscle recovery, joint pain, hair and nail growth. Doctors have prescribed it for years for joint pain sufferers, and it's provided a lot of relief for them. I heard about it when I lived in LA for 14 years. People were doing collagen injections, and they're quite effective. They do puff up the face. And apparently taking it orally, which is how I'm doing it, now it's a powder, and the scoop is pretty big. So uh, as opposed to some of the other things that you take, it's 10 grams, and you got to fill that scoop up. So this one tub will be gone in a month, in 30 days. So you can imagine you know, how much of that you're going to go through volume-wise. Um, yes, I did start taking collagen. And the reasons are I lost so much weight, people would notice it and they'd say, hey, why you, you know, don't lose any more weight. But if you saw pictures of me before, I was so puffed out and I was so uh, kind of not just fat, but inflamed. You know, there was just this, this over puffiness of my entire face, my neck, my eyes. And minimizing that has been a really good thing. Now, some people have said, don't lose any more. Don't, you're getting too thin. And I think it's because I lost so much uh, fat in my face that I need to kind of fill it in a little bit more with a little healthy stuff. Collagen comes from foods. Uh, it's made mostly from animal products. There are some that are made uh, vegan style. This one does not signify vegan. Uh, I would look out for that, I guess, if they have success with that one and they could find a vegan one. The vegan ones are not as effective at generating collagen in your body. So uh, this, is, this is from my research. Now, some people take them and some people get results with them. It, that's really a decision that you guys have to make. But um, I don't mind taking that. I still eat meat on occasion. Matter of fact, the sources of collagen are mostly meats, but there are also some fruits and vegetables that are good sources of collagen. Uh, they don't generate that collagen production from foods as effectively from uh, as you do from a collagen supplement. So I will warn you in that regard. But you can get it in bone broth. That's the number one. That one is the best source of food for it, bone, bone broth. Uh, chicken, fish and shellfish, egg whites, citrus fruits. Now it's the vitamin C that's said to increase the collagen. So take vitamin C. If you could take it naturally, great. Maybe both, you know, get some vitamins. If you're not going to do the uh, the animal sourced collagen, maybe get some vitamins and eat some citrus fruits or berries, another good source of vitamin C. Uh, tropical fruits like mango, kiwi, pineapple, guava, uh, garlic, leafy greens, beans, cashews, tomatoes, bell peppers. It's always, and sugar is bad, by the way, reduces your collagen. So it's so funny how we research these healthy wellness routines and over and over again, it, ha, you know, the, the lineage is drawn to healthy foods, healthy eating and not eating sugars and not eating, uh, processed carbs. So again, uh, no surprise there. It seems that Eating healthy, living healthy uh, leads to a healthier life. I tried taking it in a sparkling water because I researched online. I knew this wasn't going to go well. The glass was pretty small anyway, and the results were not good. It did not work out. It just foamed out of the glass. It also didn't dissolve easily at all. It took like five minutes of stirring to dissolve in water. So I'd recommend the tea or coffee or a shake route. Um, tea or coffee is nice because it's warm. It'll dissolve easier in it. And uh, I mixed it into coffee, had no taste, had no odor, very easy to take. I haven't had any stomach issues from it. Those are the, one, those are the side effects that can sometimes uh, occur from taking collagen in, in a powder. Uh, some people do experience some you know, upset stomach or nausea, but I didn't have any of that. 
Uh, and I can get that from time to time. So that was a relief to see. I would say if you're going to take collagen, don't look at it as an anti-aging supplement. This is something that should improve your health span, uh, but not extend uh, your life probably, or at least your life expectancy. Um, if you're living healthier, I always contend that you could live longer because if you're healthier, you have, you're less diseased. There are no anti-cancer benefits that I, that I found to collagen. So, you know, don't ex over expect, um, I'm hoping for, again, a little more puffiness in my skin. Hopefully that won't take too long to see. Uh, muscle recovery won't hurt. I'm already doing really well in that department. Joint pain, I don't really have any since I've been doing my other routines. However, it'd be nice once in a while my shoulder, because I play so much tennis in that serve motion, don't want to bang the microphone here, but that serve motion can wear on my shoulder. So if I get a little more relief there, it's I, I can live with it. It always loosens up when I start playing, but that's the one area where I do have some joint pain. Um, it'd be nice to grow some more hair. Now that takes months, so don't tune in in two weeks and expect to see a big bushy head. It's funny because I posted a picture that I made on FaceTap in response to a comment someone made that I should shave my head and uh, grow a goatee. So that was in uh, that was in the community posts. And that was a joke. Uh, however, a lot of people did say, hey, you should do that. And maybe I will at some point when I can convince my wife it's okay. My kids are egging me on trying to get me to do it. Uh, but my wife uh, is so far saying no way. There, When I did my research, there were a lot of posters that were skeptical going in. And they noticed their skin getting like less dry and uh, some of the wrinkles going away. Or one guy said his mom took it and uh, it helped with her joint pain. And then after several months, her hair started to grow thicker. I'm just gonna see if, uh, if I can puff out some of these gaps in my face a little bit. So if you've tried it, uh, or if you're gonna try it, let me know. By the way, keep taking it in coffee had this side effect of keeping the coffee hotter a lot longer. I don't know how it worked that way, but for some reason, having those proteins in the coffee just held the heat into the coffee longer. Kind of a, a strange, uh, chemical chemist question for somebody out there. So if you want to try hydrolyzed collagen peptides, there's a discount in the description to save 10% at Do Not Age. They already have low prices as it is, so you just get to save a little bit more. Let me know how it works for you or has worked for you. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.